Hi all. Um, this is a, just an update about um, a present I brought myself for Christmas, and uh, I'll show you what it is. It's taken this time to build it actually. It's the four-lane engine shed. Excuse my job, but I'm doing it backwards. Which means I can now um, finish off the track, knowing exactly where it'll go. What I liked about when I saw this on eBay was the fact that it's got all the smoke hoods. So wherever engines parked in the shed, smoke will come out one of the chimneys. It was quite a... I've, I've tried to make a video as quick as I can, but really, in reality, it's taken me about two weeks to build because I have to keep stopping, letting everything dry and set and everything. But it's good fun building. It was actually made by a bloke called Adrian Walker, the, the laser cut kit from Conway in Wales. And it cost me as a kit 56 quid, which wasn't cheap, but I just wanted an engine shed that would um, be in the right time of my era which is 1946 obviously I've used um, sticky back brick paper to do it all but I think she's worked out quite well obviously needs weathering and lights but it was good fun to build So I'm actually going to, this video will actually be about how I built it. I just hope it doesn't go on for too long. Okay, well I'll go back to the start. Hi everybody. Today I'm going to uh, start making this four lane loco shed. Which hopefully should end up something like that when it's finished and I got this off eBay it was about £56 so it wasn't cheap Now in the instructions it says put it all together, which I have done, um, just to test everything fits and works sort of thing. So I've already done that and then taken it apart again. Now something different over this laser kit over other ones is it hasn't actually got a, a brick pattern on it to paint. What it recommends is, is that you pick a colour, a brick colour, and they recommend using scale scenes so I went on their website and I managed to print off this which has got all the different brick colours and textures, roofs, concrete, everything you pick one of those that you want to do your model with and uh, then you can print it off, it costs about £2.50 and then you can print off as many as you want and the colour I've gone for is kind of like an aged dark brown wood, uh, dark brown wood, dark brown brick colour. And I've had this, well, I've printed this upstairs on the printer and I've it on sticky back paper so that I can just uh, stick it straight on without using glue. Now I have made a start here and that is the first wall done I 
one then. This is the inside of the shed. And what I've also done is, you get 20 of these, which is the smoke hoods. And then obviously get, that's what sticks out the top of the roof. So I've made all those up, which are over there. So I'll do a bit more and see how I get on. Well, last night I spent all evening putting the tiling sheets, sticky back tiling sheets, onto the room. So it's, I'm coming together, but the, the stickiness isn't as good as I thought it would be. So the next job is to paint all the smoke hoods black. Well that's all the smoke hoods painted. Also, I've done the uh, roof support, this runs down the centre and I've um, covered the back piece. With this kit you can either have it uh, Low coat running all the way through to the other side, or you can block one end off. I want to close the engine shed, so I'm actually using the end piece on that. So, the next thing is to uh, start the construction. So, to start um, putting the roof in, I am, I've just pushed this one in, it's not actually glued in. And that's the first roof. So I'll start from the front and work back as it says in the instructions. But you don't glue. There's one roof panel that is slightly different. Which is the middle one. It's that one. And you don't glue that one in. Yet. So I'll make a start. Right, well that's the uh, roof done. So it seems to have worked out quite well. Quite simple, everything seems to fit together okay, so... Uh, that's that. Next thing is to fit the windows. The windows come like this. There's a bit of card that's been laser cut out. And I thought when I first brought it, it's, it's going to be a bit dull in there. But then I've realised it's actually tape on both sides. And that goes on there. And glued on the inside. Anyway, I'll put one in and we'll have a look. So that's all the glazing done, it's quite effective, it's very simple to do. I'll just see you in a bit. Certainly let some light in, if it's facing the sun. Right, the next job is to fit the girder support. So I've actually put the front panel, press that in. It all fits together quite well, he says. Famous last word. That's it. 
There is a centre lug down here, so that pushes into there. And just a matter of lining everything up. That's it. Make sure that centre lug goes in. And glue it in. And that's it. The next part is to build the smoke extraction unit. I've just put those on just so I can see where they fit. But obviously they'll be pushed through the roof. So that's the first one made. I have to give them a coat of paint before um, I fit them. Now if you're not put if you put the back on of the shed, you've got to chop these off so that they're flush, which is what I'm going to do. I haven't got enough room on the way out for a a run through sort of engine shed. So there's two of the uh, extract hoods located in place. I gave them a quick coat of paint obviously. So two more to go and I can start putting the chimneys on. They're quite simple to put together. You've just got these strengtheners here. Paints are a bit wet. So that's the uh, smoke extraction part finished. So now I've fitted the chimneys. And that's how it looks. So the next bit is just to fit these front smoke hoods. I've painted them but um, obviously both sides. It's just a matter of dropping them in. Like so. And then I can do the front and the sides, brick it all up, and it shall be about finished. Right, to fit the sides, I've already covered this in sticky back brick paper. So that will just glue in there. And that goes glues on top. So I'm nearly getting there now. So there we go, she's about finished. I've done the uh, sides and the back now. Probably a few more touches are needed and a bit of weathering. But I'm quite happy with the results. She look, should look quite good on the layout, which I'll take her up to in a minute. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry if it's gone on a bit, but it, was, it wasn't the uh, easiest kit to build, but very enjoyable. Uh, 
and um, if you haven't subscribed please do also please comment any whether positive or negative they all help me uh, with my layout sort of thing so I'll leave that with you thanks for watching and bye for now